Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. I'm just checking out our new area over here and I noticed something that needs fixing. You guys may have noticed this in the last episode, I'm not sure, but... I looked at these guys here and it said... Let's have a look. Too much garbage piling up. I was thinking, why are these people unhappy? We have got garbage incinerators right here, we've got some over here. You know, we're covering the area pretty well. And then I started to look at the roads. And this is one way coming out here. And this is one way going up here. And there is no other way into this road system. So my one-way roads, I think it works okay when they're set up in a grid. But at the edge here, they need adjusting slightly. So I was just working along here using the one-way tool. Just checking all of these edge roads to make sure. So that's one way in and out. This road's coming down. Here we can see. So I made it go that way. That one's going... Excuse me, hiccups. That one's going up. So that's fine. That one's coming down. That one's going up. Have I made that one way going up? So what I'm doing is using this tool here and dragging. Yeah, that one's already done. That one's going up. And this one's going down and out, so that's fine. There's no residential stuff here. Yes, there is. Okay, let's just fill in some of the little gaps that we've got here. I don't know why. We've got gaps... Maybe when I was dragging and dropping the thing across, I didn't quite fill it up properly. Okay, that's fine. So that one's okay. I think, where are we up to? So that one's going up, that one's going up, yep. That one's going down, that's fine. I think it was this one here, wasn't it? Yeah, that one's going up, and that one's going down. So you click and drag, 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 and it's all going up. Up. There we go, excellent. So that works okay. And it doesn't give you the warning because they were pre-placed roads altogether. It doesn't give you that one-way sort of thing isn't connected type warning that you normally get. There we go. That's going up. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go along and check all the outside roads around the outside here and here. Make sure they're okay. And then we're going to come back and take a look at our train line because there's some work that we need to do on that. So back in a second. Okay, there we go. That's worked out a lot better. When you check, if you do something similar like this, any edges that you've got. So I've gone all the way down the edge, all the way around like that. And then I've gone up the middle and round as well. Because there are anything on these corners here. Because they're not attaching to another one of these pre-made sort of sections, it will cause a problem. So you need to just check that. But that's all working okay now. So everything should have enough coverage for everything. Oh, there's a one-way road I've missed. Oh, there's a couple of one-way roads I've missed. Let's quickly check this. What have I done here? Which way is that going? Let's go up there. That's it. I meant to change that last one. There we go. That's what I've missed. So I've made these go up and over, which they weren't doing before because they would have connected. So that's working okay. As soon as I do that, houses start moving in. So there we go. Really makes a difference to so check that everywhere else. I think is okay. Yeah, okay. So garbage we've got... Healthcare we've got, and death care we've got. One of those each side. Let's just double check the hearse use in these. Nine of nine. There was one down here as well, wasn't there? Uh, there we go. Nine of nine. Do you know what? I'm going to put one over this side as well. Just to make sure. Let's put it on... Let's put it here. There we go. Cover a wider area as well. Fire. We've got one fire station here. Nord of six fire engines used. It shouldn't be too hard to get around because there is no traffic in this area at all. Tiny little bit coming on, but even that, if you look at it, it's moving nicely. These are parked cars, so it's all moving okay. So that's good. So police. We had a police station here. Crime is low. Schools, how are we looking? Education, elementary school. We need another one. How's this one doing? Students, 300 or 300. Okay, another elementary school here would be good. Let's put one this side. We could probably just sneak one in there, couldn't we? There we go. High school. Not too bad, generally. But how's this one doing? 997 out of 1,000. Okay, so we need another high school over here. Maybe over this side a bit, sort of spread it out. Can I squeeze it in there? 
there. That will do nicely. University overall is fine. How's our university here? 947 out of 4,400. That's not a problem at all. What's this university doing? Yeah, we're fine on universities. So we could probably... Healthcare budget. Let's drop that back down again. Uh, no, we'll leave that because that's going to affect everything overall. So I won't bother with that. Buses we do not have here. But actually, because the traffic's so good, I'm not going to bother... That's probably no goods to sell. People are upgrading here. People are complaining. Oh, you're not complaining now. They are complaining about no goods to sell, though. So we probably need... We've got industry over here. Bleh, abandoned. Because people are going to work in the offices. We've got connections to the outside. We've got a cargo train terminal, and they are working well. Here come the trucks. Plastic Perfection. He's actually travelling a long way, isn't he? Rather than coming to what's nearby. What's this guy here saying? Citizens are sick. Noise pollution. Hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, I see. The cargo train terminal... Let's chuck a load of trees around here. Let's use our tree brush. Let's fill this in either side of this road as much as we can. And do you know what we could do? This road here, we could rezone this as offices because actually they don't mind the noise pollution. In fact, I'm going to do that. So let's dezone with this one. Anything... Oh, okay. No, nope, let's do it this way then. Oh, there goes my phone. Sorry about that. That was my phone. Let's dezone. Can I dezone this in bigger chunks? Is this going to let me dezone where there's already houses? It is. Because this thing isn't straight, I can't just drag and drop it all the way up. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Dezone, dezone, dezone. Good. Right, let's make this offices... Is it not going to let me put offices in until they've gone? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. Good. And there. Oh, it's a crematorium. That's good. Let's fill that. So offices will actually... They don't mind noise, and they will. They are a good buffer. There we go. They are a good buffer against noise. What I'm going to do is add some along here as well. Where else have we got any noise around here? Let's have a look. Noise in the middle here. What is it that's making noise here? Oh, it's commercial zones, isn't it? Okay. So maybe... People are complaining about noise around here? They're not really, are they? That's all my commercial zones. Well, I'll probably... See, that they're still upgrading, so that's okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. is We're going to add... Tree brush, that's what I'm looking for. I'm just going to add some trees in the gaps around here. As much as we can. In fact, I'll just go up and down here and do that. Let's just get around my commercial plots. Probably not many trees going in there, but some. Why are you abandoned? Let's have a look. Not enough goods to sell. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. That may change. Ah, here we go. So they've all moved out. What have we got? Citizens are sick. Pollution in the area. Bing, you're gone. Bing, you're gone. Okay, good. So this is all going to be zoned for this. Dezone, rezone. Power cables. Yep, that's that all covered. I don't think we need... Oh, power's going down. Sewage treatment's going down. Do we need that power cable coming in there? We have this one here. And it's not actually doing anything, is it? No, let's let's remove that. Oh, look, that's no power to there. Oh, we do need that power cable there. It would have been okay, but it's got the houses there. Let's go page up, up, up. Space already occupied. Down, down, down. Nope, okay, let's try it somewhere else. Why won't it let me do power? Space already occupied. Over here, maybe? 
page up, page down, there we go, done, that should get power, yep, good, okay, so how else can we get some goods in here, we've got our goods train, we've got our passenger, oh that's a hospital, do we not have a passenger train up over here, we just have our goods cargo train terminal, Mm, I don't know. Maybe we'll just see how that goes. How the how, the, how it picks up from the cargo train terminal. Now the trains we were looking at. I'm not sure whether I have enough space to solve this problem yet at the moment. Let's go into this slow mo mode. So we have our outside line. Let's not go in that mode. It's a bit too slow. We have our outside line coming along the top here. And we have all our connections coming off that and going round, train stations all over the place. And crossroads and traffic are there too close to each other. Where's that? Here. Uh, yeah. Got that road coming up there, that road going down there. Not much I can do about that. Still the traffic here. You're sick. Okay. People aren't really using my overpass as much as I thought they would. I just changed this here and added that a bit further down so it wasn't so much of a junction. And more people seem to be using it. Hmm. Anyway. So my train line, it comes in off of this one here. And let's just pause the game. Stop the top pop-ups. And literally everything runs off of this. Now the suggestion that was given was to have my external line separate from my internal line. So, you have your trains coming along here, and then having two rail, having two stations, so a cargo one on the outside line, connected by a small road, and then a cargo on your inside line. So basically the cargo trains come in, they drop off the trucks, they literally go across a tiny road, straight onto another cargo train, which then takes it around your loop for your city. And the same for passengers as well. So, and that could possibly stop all of this. Because what's happening with these is... Let's have a look at one of these. Freight train owner lost Rico. So he's come in from the outside. Quick sip of tea. He's come in from the outside. Transporting cargo to lost Rico. So he's come in, picked up cargo, and he's going back out again. And if we could keep the outside trains off of my inside rail network... Because it's not connected anywhere else, is it? No, it's literally just this here. Then that could really help. And I suppose the only place we could have an, an outside connection is here. Because we're sort of short on space. So I'm wondering... Oh, we don't own this square. Can I... Nope, can't buy another square. What's our next... Uh, nope, not that one. Next achievement. I always forget what to click. Oh, it's this here for achievements. 60,000, so actually we're almost there. So what I could do is buy this one here and have that little section that connects the two together on here. Let's unpause the game. Um, so I could have a cargo, I could even have a couple of cargo, a couple of passengers, a road in between, then a passenger and a cargo, and then set that off on my internal loop and just keep it all separate from each other. And I think that's what we're going to do. Now, if we speed up the game, we're actually gaining enough people to hit 60,000 relatively quickly. Things aren't going too bad here. Recycling is important. Good, good. The park district. Now, I want you to have a look. Yeah, we've got that connected there. Is there any policies that could help over here? Free public transport. We don't have any anyway. So, parks and recreation. Let's... Add that. We've got 23,000 coming in. Smoking, recycling. Power usage. Yeah, we're not doing too bad in all of those. So I'll leave that. Electricity availability. We need to add. Yep, I know about you. We need to add some more power. Let's add another 160 megawatt solar panel. I think that might be a good idea. Building must be placed roadside. I believe that's a road. And I know what's caused that problem is this. Ah, the power's going to go out. Ah, there we go. That's good. 
That should come straight online. Hopefully. Oh, 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 oh. Not operating. Oh, the game's paused. That's not going to help, is it? Operating normally. There we go. What have we got? Tons of electricity. Sewage treatment. Don't want that to become a problem. Do we? Don't think we can add any more down there. Let's add another one over here. There we go. Let's recover that. Let's pipe it in. Nice. Getting up to 60,000 nearly. Let's wait for that sewage treatment thing to go up. It's not gone up as much as I thought. So we add another one just in case. Let's add another one just in case. What's that? Electric cables. We can delete that. If it would let me. Bulldoze. There we go. Let's squeeze another one in there. And then that makes sure we've covered. There we go. Are they still getting power? Yes, they are. Good. Good, good, good. That's okay. So, sewage treatment, that's fine. 58,409. Need some more commercials. I need to build a nice commercial zone somewhere. With all this residential... Removing all this commercial that I had. Are people using this car park? No more room. Don't think that car park works properly. <laughs> Tourist last week zero. People don't want to come and see the statue of Biff Industry. Is it because it's got an extra space in the name or something? I mean, what is it that they're unhappy about? I don't know. I'd be visiting that all the time. Right. I'm going to be back with you in a second once we hit the next milestone. Here we go. Just about to hit it. After three seconds, one second, naught seconds. <laughs> 60,000! What? Yay! Metropolis! Excellent. We get airports as well. Oh, nice. Achievements yet, we know all about that. So we can buy a new piece of land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want this one. Let's just double check. Let's go back. Yep, this is the one we want. We want this one. Nice. There we go. And let's go back in. So, let's set up. Let's pause the game. Let's set up the cargo and the passenger and all of that sort of thing. And also, we can have airports. Ooh, how big is an airport? Not too bad. Maybe that can be over here as well, because it'll be right near. Does that bring in cargo and stuff? What does it say? Airport opens the sky for travelling to faraway lands. Tourism benefits greatly. Needs a road connection. Can be freely placed on the map. Okay, maybe we'll come back to that one next time. So what have we just reached? Metropolis. Nice. Okay, right. So, trains. Trains, trains, trains. Cargo train term. We need a road, first of all, in and out of here, don't we? What is this? So that's motorway. We're going to want some sort of motorway junction to connect to here, aren't we? Well, that's going to be fun. Uh, let's have a look. Probably one of our standard... One of these would be handy. But we have this train network. Well, let's just remove all of this. Make some space. There's some underneath there. No, that's been removed. That's been removed. That's been removed. Okay, where would this go? Basically, you could fit there. In fact, if we just delete all of this, it can go... I'm trying to think. I want it sort of aligned up. We're down here. More like that. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We'll do that. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's connect up. Let's connect up these roads here. Motorway. So which way are these going? Down on the left. Up 
on the right. Excellent. Um, and then these are going to want to come up here. I and mean, we need to leave a little bit of space as well. So let's get our curve tool. So down on the left. Yep. And let's think. If we go... Like that. And we do the same going back. Let's try and get that as close as possible to that one. Nope. We do it like that. Let me just delete this bit here. There we go. Whoops. Wrong button. Which I probably don't have to use. I seem to be using the... Um, protected, whatever it's called. What's this one called? Sound barrier one. I don't need to do that, do I? But never mind. Well, that really doesn't look good, does it? And that's going the wrong way as well. Darn it! <laughs> oh, let's delete that. Let's get this right. So, out on the left. No, I want straight. Thank you. Out on the left. In on the right. Okay, there we go. We've got our road coming in, looping round, going back out again. That's how we're going to do it. So then for the outside line, we're going to have a cargo train terminal here. Should we go right to the edge as far as we can? Let's leave a little bit of space. And then a passenger one. Yeah, we'll fit that in here, I think. Actually, I want to leave enough space if we need to put them up against each other. I'm just wondering. Let's go right to the other end as far as we can with the passenger one. There we go. Leave a little bit of space. So then we need to add some rail to get in and out. Does that allow it to come in okay? Yep. And then out. That's fine. Same here. Looks a bit weird, that. Not sure that's going to connect. Let's go a bit further. There we go. And the same for that one. So that's in and out. Right, so that's for the outside one. So they're going to come here. They're going to they're going to put their cargo into here. And then we don't want all the lorries going in the city. So I'm wondering actually whether to have this connected at all this side. We want them to actually come around and connect to my rail network over here, don't we? So we need to run another... We need to, in fact, just loop this road around. I don't think even we need this connection here, do we? Um, let's, let's take this away. I think I may have been a bit hasty adding this, adding this in. Let's just remove that out of the way. So this is a one-way road going round. So let's add, let's add this on the other side. Let's have it as close to this as we can. That will do, I think. like that, and then if we loop that round, I want it looped. Loop, please. Why would it loop before, but it won't loop now? Okay, well, let's go up to the middle and round. There we go, and the same over here. Up to the middle and round. So that can go round. The trucks can come off, go round, and leave. So then if we add cargo this side... Let's get that lined up the same. So that'll be that one. And then passenger this side. Okay. And then we'll have this connected to our internal network. So let's see how that goes. Let's connect this up. I mean, I have no idea whether this is going to work at all. This is just an idea somebody had. Why are you going like that when I want straight? Okay, thank you. Let's curve that round, like that. Let's attach these two together. Do I want those two attached together? I want this as a bypass, don't I? So let's have... I want straight. Why does it not go straight? Train line is the weirdest thing. It really is. Okay, well, let's go like that, and then let's go along. 
like that. And then you can come there. You can come there. And we want that to hook up to our internal line again. That's the outside line. So we want that to hook up to over here. Let's go like that. Okay, that's hooked up okay. We've got both ways there. We've got a bypass. Just want to bypass on this one. So if you need to get in and out, you can. You can go that way. You can go that way. You can go that way. Good. Okay. So cargo comes in. Passengers come in. Lorries come round. Drop them off. And that's it. That will be our only connection to the outside. So what we need to do then is disconnect any other connections that we have to this outside line. So that can go... These can go. And this needs to be on its own separate line connected with this. So let's have a think. What's the best way of doing that? If we actually just have a line... What is this? Is this passengers here? It is. We just have a line coming along here. Like that. Then page up. Oh, went too close. Let's delete that one. Say to there, and then page up. And across the top. Let's have a look. Where are we heading towards? Then page down. And then straight across. We could... Have that going there. And then have another connection there so they can get round. So that would be like a one-way dead-end sort of thing here, but just backwards and forwards, a little shuttle run. We could do the same for this one. So let's delete that, that, and that. So we want that going over the top just to connect to our other rail over here. So let's go like that and page up. Cross, page down. And then that can connect there. So if you want to come up, you can go up there, go back again. I think that should be okay. And then nothing else is connected to the outside then, is it? That goes over the top. And then all of this runs on our internal network. This is the transfer point. Let's see if it works. I really have no idea. We need to get some power up there. Where's the nearest place to get power from? We have cables there. Yeah, let's run them from here. Let's go like that. Let's go page up and page down. There we go. That can run to there. That can run to there, hopefully. That can run to there. Let's just see if that gets power across. Now it's just water that they need. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Let's run this up here, and will that cover both? No, let's just do two to make sure. That one there, that one there. So that should be power and water. Oh, that's water I'm looking at. Power, water. So I don't know what's going to happen with those trains that were already in my system that, <laughs> that wanted to get out, but... Yeah, we shall see. Okay, so I'm going to let this run for a bit and see how this goes. So I will be back with you. Here we go, it started. Our first cargo train came in and here go the lorries. So they should be heading over here to our cargo train terminal. Let's just see how this works. And I'm hoping this works. I mean, who always upgrade this road. We've got some space to do that. So then we're heading over here. Let's see what happens. What's this guy doing? He's loading up. Oh, and he's disappeared. <laughs> so they're going straight in there. And leaving. So they're loading up and leaving. They're not getting in each other's way. Which is good. So what's this one going to? Two cargo freight terminal over here. Okay, that's good. So he's heading off. So that actually looks like... It could be good. I mean, I've only been running it for a minute or two. So some of these trains... 
They're still perhaps a bit overloaded on the internal network, but that is good. Interesting to see. This is only one... No, it's two lane going round, but of course they always stick in the outside lane. So we shall see how that goes. Hopefully that won't cause any traffic. But thanks for that idea. That was from Mick... Mick DeRude, Mick DeRude, I can't read my own writing, so we're going to give this a go and see how it goes. Might need to add another couple of cargo train terminals. Got passengers, no passengers, no passengers, tons of cargo. Interesting. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget as well, we're still running our like challenge on these episodes. 500 likes, and the next episode gets released super darn quick. So if you like this episode, then you know what to do. Let's go and have a look. And all these lorries. Here we go. Queuing up with the car. Oh, oh, got run over. Queuing up with the cargo as far as the eye can see. They're not... I was going to say they're not stopping. They are sort of stopping, aren't they? They're slowly moving. There is a lot of cargo going in. Yeah, maybe we need to upgrade this a bit. I'll have a think about that for next time. But uh, let me know in the comments below any tips you might have as well. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.